Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Giselle and I'm an ultrasound technologist, aka sonographer out here in Las Vegas. And I love all things Disney. And it's been a long time since I've made a video, but I am going to make some sit down videos because a lot of you guys have been asking questions and I hope that you guys can find these videos helpful, especially for those who are going into sonography or want to go into sonography. And I am going to talk about all things ultrasound and also answer your guys' questions. Today's question came from one of you guys in the comment section. And it says, hello, I recently graduated with the plan of being an ultrasound tech until finding out that the 90% of people get an MSK injury. Although they wanted to be an ultrasound tech, it's starting to make them doubt this route. Could you shed some light on this topic? Have you experienced any injuries? How do you minimize them? And is it really as bad as most people make it? Thank you. Well, thank you for your question. And that's a really good question. I actually have been wanting to make a video on MSK for a very long time. I've had other videos in the past where I talk to people about MSK, but I think I should, I think I should delve into a conversation where the 90% MSK injury rate is very high. I mean, come on, 90%. So yeah, you are going to get some sort of pain, whether you are a new grad or you've been doing this for a long time, or you've done it for one year, five years, 10 years, everyone will tell you that they have been in pain at least once at one point. I think that the majority of people who on like the online forums talk about how they've had excruciating pain, pain to where they actually have to go to surgery, like that kind of pain, that is fewer than the amount of people who get just some kind of mild pain, but it is possible for you to get into a really, really bad injury rate like that with your shoulder, um, with your wrist, your arms, your back, your hips. The MSK thing, it's because we are doing repetitive movements. So anytime you're doing something repetitively for a long period of time, we're talking about eight hours, 10 hours, 12 hour shifts, multiple times a week. If you're doing that consistently and all the time, you're going to wear and tear your body, your muscles out, especially if you're not taking care of yourself, if you're not exercising, if you're not eating right, if you're not stretching in between patients. So what I want to say is shedding some light on this topic. I've been doing this for eight years now. I have been injured. I would say injured like one time where I had to go on FMLA. I went on FMLA, which for those of you who don't know what that is, it's a medical leave where they protect your job because if you're not on FMLA, you're not protected and they could fire you or replace you. But because my hospital gives FMLA, I was having extreme pain in my wrist and my forearm. And it ended up being my nerves basically were just really, really bad. And I had to go to physical therapy. Um, but then I recovered for, I'd say, I think it was eight weeks or something like that. And I was out of work for that time, but I was doing physical therapy. And then I came back and I haven't had any issues since like at, that bad, but that happened. And when that was happening, I was really questioning a lot of things too, because, you know, this is, this is the money maker right here. Your arm is basically your money maker. So you, you worry about it and you think about what else should I do? You know, I know a lot of people who've been doing this for a long time, 20, 30 plus years who will all say, you know, it's possible to do this. If you, if you focus on your body management, your ergonomics, how you are positioning yourself, making it easier for you to scan a patient and then making sure you're not pushing yourself too hard. Now, the thing which I'm going to talk about in another video is ultrasound is very busy. No matter where you work, it's going to be very busy unless you're like in a small town and it's very slow. But even then it could be very busy because you're in a small town and there's not a lot of ultrasound technologists out there. But depending on wherever you work, it's going to be super busy, sometimes short staff. And I was going to talk on another video about the reality of being a sonographer nowadays. But you have to really focus on what you are doing with your body and not pushing so hard. I know they teach you in school. Sometimes you need to push harder, but if you want to last for a long time in this career, you really need to one stretch a lot to make sure you stay healthy and fit three focus on 
ergonomics and making the scan, you know, good for you. Don't put your arm all the way out if, if it's going to hurt you, you know, if the patient is really big and it's a difficult scan, don't force yourself to get these amazing, beautiful images because sometimes that's just not the reality. So that's just me shedding some light on the topic. Minimizing them really is just stretch, 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 stretch. Okay. All you can really do, stretch your arms as much as you can in between patients, especially your wrists, your shoulders, your back. You scan pretty much standing for the most part if you're in the hospital. I know some people who like to sit, but for the most part, if you're going portable where you're bringing your machine somewhere, that is going to be a lot on your body. And then you're moving furniture around. Sometimes you're helping patients get up from wheelchairs into the bed, into the gurney. Make sure you ask for help. Definitely don't do anything that can hurt you. Okay. You are very important. You are number one. And I know we're, we're here to help others, but how can you help others if you don't help yourself and if you don't stay healthy? So when you say, is it really as bad as most people make it? I mean, the people who have it really bad, have it really bad. Some people have to get surgeries on their shoulders, on their wrists. It can get really bad, you know, but before getting to that really bad issue, try to prevent that from happening. So when I knew that was happening to my wrist and my forearm, I was like, that's it. I said something and I made sure to recover and get back to what my normal is. Like normally I feel a lot of pain if I don't work out, if I don't stretch. So I just try to make it a thing to work out, stay fit, stretch, and you can really minimize those injuries. Make sure you're bringing the patient closer to you. Ask them if they could turn themselves, you know, on their side or something like that. Bring the bed up if they're kind of low, you know, just kind of work on different things where it feels better for you. For example, I know one exam that is really hard for me to get comfortable with is a carotid sometimes, depending on the way the room is positioning the machine and the patient, because depending on how your arm is scanning the patient, it could be super painful because it's just like hanging there in air. But if you rest your arm like on the patient's neck or like shoulder, depending on, you know, how they're positioned and whatnot, that can make it better for you. I know that you want to not lose your spot, but sometimes you have to let go. It just depends. Listen to your body. Make sure you're doing everything that you can to stay healthy, fit, and stretch. And uh, yeah, basically that's that's the MSK thing. I know so many people who will say they have had pain in their knees or pain in their back, shoulders. It's not just your wrist or your arms. So just make sure you are paying attention to your whole entire body, even your neck. We're staring at screens all the time, right? So just make sure that you are focusing on being the best that you can be for yourself and for your patients. And hopefully you won't go down the road where there are injuries. And also know that there is more beyond ultrasound. If you don't want to do the bedside thing because it's a lot on your body, you can do other things. You can teach ultrasound. You can go into a business, open up your own business, and then hire people to do ultrasound. You can do clinical Uh, applications or specialists, things like that, go to the IT route. You know, there's other things you can do if you're feeling like it's too much for your body. But other than that, I hope this answered some of your curiosities about MSK and know that it is hard. It is difficult to listen to your body when it's super busy and you just kind of don't think about it. So just know that you really need to put yourself first when it comes to doing your job. And make sure you are staying healthy out there, as healthy as you can be. And yeah, if you guys have any more questions, just comment down below. Let me know. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay kind to one another. Be safe. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.